The ability to enhance the wound healing process could save billions of dollars in health care expenditures. But more importantly, the ability to enhance the wound healing process could save lives and limbs. While the dollars and savings are important, it's the ability to help people recover quicker, especially diabetics and the elderly, that this information on enhancing wound healing is so important to understand. You've been given a tissue that lines all of your vascular system. This tissue is called the endothelium. The 1998 Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to three American researchers for discovering how the endothelium converts the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide and how nitric oxide is the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system. With the awarding of the Nobel Prize in Medicine, there has been an explosion of research in this area, especially in understanding the complex role of the endothelium in helping to maintain vascular health. Your endothelium also plays a critical role in enhancing the wound healing process. The purpose of this video is to help you understand how the health of your endothelium, its ability to properly produce nitric oxide, and the amino acid L-arginine all play a critical role in the wound healing process. In reviewing the scientific literature from the National Institutes of Health, wound healing, quote, is achieved through four precisely and highly programmed phases, hemostasis, inflammation, proliferation, and remodeling. For a wound to heal successfully, all four phases must occur in the proper sequence and time frame. End of quote. Wound healing is a complex sequence of events, so all we can do in this video is give you a good overview, but the one common system that is critical to each sequence is your cardiovascular system, and the one tissue that plays a factor in every phase of the wound healing process is your endothelium. Let's examine the phases of wound healing so that you can see how your endothelium plays a critical and vital role. Optimal wound healing involves these four phases, rapid hemostasis, appropriate inflammation, proliferation, remodeling. Within each of these phases, there are other biological events that take place. So let's briefly look at each phase to better understand how your endothelium can enhance wound healing. Phase 1, rapid hemostasis, is a process that causes bleeding to stop. So the first action in wound healing is to stop blood from exiting the wounded area. This is a combination of vascular constriction, platelet aggregation, and fibrin formation or thrombus. Your endothelium releases chemicals to cause vascular constriction. While the endothelium is designed to help keep blood platelet cells from sticking together, once damaged, they turn off this part of their chemical sequence to allow for platelet aggregation over the injured area. Additionally, the endothelium begins to secrete a chemical called von Willebrand factor, which enhances platelet aggregation. Without your endothelium properly performing this sequence, you could bleed to death. Thus, a healthy endothelium is critically important to the first phase of wound healing. Phase 2, appropriate inflammation, is a combination of neutrophil, monocyte, and lymphocyte infiltration. This phase is designed to protect you from infection. While this is a function of your immune system, the endothelium allows these inflammatory cells to migrate into the wound through a specialized barrier function. If your endothelium has been damaged by plaque formations, atherosclerosis, or calcification, arterial sclerosis, then its ability to act in the specialized barrier function is compromised. Thus, a healthy endothelium is critically important for the second phase of wound healing. Phase 3, proliferation, has several parts to it, but basically it's during this phase that the majority of healing takes place. In this reparative process, quote, fibroblasts and endothelial cells are the most prominent cell types present and support capillary growth, collagen formation and the formation of granulation tissue at the site of injury." End of quote. Capillary growth is called angiogenesis and this is a major function of the endothelium. Why? Because your capillaries are just extensions of the endothelium. 
This is a critical phase in enhancing wound healing because capillaries allow for the exchange of oxygen and nutrients to provide the needed energy and components for proper tissue repair while facilitating the proper removal of waste products. Thus a healthy endothelium is absolutely critical to this third phase of wound healing. Phase 4, remodeling is where collagen is realigned so that this architectural component approaches that of the normal tissue. This process is both complex and fragile. Factors that interfere in this process are diabetes, venous and arterial disease, infection, and metabolic deficiencies. In this phase, your endothelium plays an important role since the delivery of oxygen and nutrients and the proper removal of waste products can speed this remodeling process. This is also where L-arginine can play a critical role. Again, according to the National Institutes of Health, quote, arginine is a semi-essential amino acid that is required during periods of maximal growth, severe stress, and injury. Arginine has many effects in the body, including the modulation of immune function, wound healing, hormone secretion, vascular tone, and endothelial function. Arginine is also a precursor to proline, and as such, sufficient arginine levels are needed to support collagen deposition, angiogenesis, and wound contraction. End of quote. There are numerous studies showing the importance of L-arginine in enhancing wound healing. This means that anyone telling you that arginine is not beneficial to you, especially if you're over the age of 40, is completely off base. There is one more critical factor in enhancing the wound healing process, and that is oxygen. Oxygen is involved in almost every phase of the wound healing process from preventing infection to helping to induce angiogenesis or the formation of new capillaries to collagen synthesis in the remodeling phase. The key to improving oxygen delivery is improving circulation. The key to improving circulation is increasing nitric oxide production since nitric oxide causes the smooth muscle of the vascular wall to relax. This allows for better blood flow. With better blood flow, you deliver more oxygen. Also, capillaries are just extensions of the endothelium. When you improve endothelial cell health and function, you improve capillary function. In the lungs, this aids in helping to bind more oxygen to the hemoglobin of the red blood cells. And at the injured tissue area, capillaries allow for more oxygen to be released to enhance the wound healing process. Now, there is a product that has been scientifically formulated to enhance the ability of your endothelium to create nitric oxide for enhanced circulation. It's called ProArginine Plus. This product entered the marketplace in 2008. In 2009, the High Desert Heart Institute in Victorville, California performed a clinical study using this product. All 33 patients in this study were pharmaceutically and medically managed to the maximum. After 90 days on Proarginine Plus, all patients were substantially reduced in their medications and had remarkable improvements in their cardiovascular health. Since this study, Dr. Siva Arunasalam, the Institute's founder, has incorporated Proarginine Plus into their medical operation. One area of incorporation is in helping to enhance the wound healing process. In a recent article, from Healing Our World, a publication of the world-famous Hippocrates Health Institute, Dr. Siva talked about this component. Quote, Dr. Siva is now using Proarginine Plus before and after surgery. Most of his patients who undergo bypass surgery or angioplasty are given it as soon as possible. And his patients who use high dosage, six scoops per day, two weeks before elective surgery, have no infection, their recovery time is incredibly quick, and they're up and around. End of quote. If you or someone you know is dealing with a wound healing issue, or if you're looking to enhance the wound healing process, then please consider Proarginine Plus. This product is designed to help nourish your endothelium for enhanced production of nitric oxide, leading to improved circulation. This product contains pharmaceutical grade L-arginine with L-citrulline to help recycle L-arginine for long-term production of nitric oxide. 
Additionally, Prioritinic Plus contains the following ingredients, all designed to support endothelial cell health and function, which has the potential to enhance the wound healing process. If you're interested in learning more about this product and how it could benefit you or a loved one, then please contact the person who shared this video with you. They're part of a team whose mission is to save millions of lives from the number one killer of men and women worldwide, which is cardiovascular disease. We've all been given a tissue called the endothelium, which lines all of our vascular system. When properly nourished, to enhance its ability to produce nitric oxide, it's amazing how this improves overall circulation. Improved circulation means better delivery of oxygen and nutrients to all your cells, tissues, and organs, allowing them to function at a higher level of wellness. And this makes a huge impact on enhancing the wound healing process. Proper supplementation combined with education can make a significant difference in your cardiovascular health.